I'm using the global white to coat it with and it's with my normal pouring medium and the description for that is in the drop down box this particular canvas is a nice oval canvas I thought I'd try it on a smaller canvas first before I go to a bigger one if it turns out really nice which I've done these before um, custom made champagne gold I call it it's a mix of 50% gold 50% silver so this is what I want to do first of all I probably should have put my paints down for the anyway I'm doing it this way so that's my lovely champagne this is the dark sea it's a beautiful color love that so i'm going to just put a blob in my golds or maybe every second one i've got a composition in mind so i'm just hoping that it works out that one's next to each other never mind so i should be wearing if you're going to do this wear a face mask respirator all the safety gear that didn't really go far, did it? I think I need a bigger mallet. I have to go and raid my husband's. I wanted it a bigger smash than that. Ah, that's not a good smash. I need a, I mean, I need a proper mallet, don't I? I haven't got one. I'm gonna have to go sneak in my husband's room and go mallet hunting. So I'm just gonna get my blue instead. So the <laughs> mallet smash didn't actually come out. Look at those colors. So this is doing not a balloon kiss, it's actually a balloon roll. So that gives a really nice effect for a border, doesn't it? Well, it gives a nice effect whether it was the whole piece. That'd be a simple piece of art, finished. Just in those two colours. How effective is that? That's beautiful. Oh my goodness, now I don't want to touch that. Maybe I'll go to Plan B and I go and get my mallet after some search. I am just going to um, try and jazz up this kind of very boring pour. A bit of the paint did separate, but that's not a problem really, because it all adds to some of the nice effects in it. It's a nice little uh, canvas, oval shaped, but I just thought it needed a bit of jazzing up. So I thought, why not a stencil? So I thought about this stencil in here and adding some of these leaves just in the, um, so all I'm gonna do is just hold it there. You can certainly tape it down, but I'm gonna just hold it here. And what color should I do? I'm gonna go the dark blue in this particular one. Or should I go green? Ah. Just gonna try this blue. You can always add some colors to it, so it's not not a um, setting concrete it's just a try to jazz up a canvas that that didn't look you know too crash hot this was the one um, that you seen me do the balloon smash on I'm um, not balloon smash what you call it a hammer smash but somebody suggested I should use a child's mallet or a rubber soft rubber that won't give such a crazy effect I might squeeze a little bit of the gold on that, see if I can get just a, a little bit of gold in there as well. May not turn out how I envisaged, but maybe I should let one color dry off before I try the other, maybe. <laughs> We'll just see how it goes. That's that's the only way you find out to do things is just to experiment. Well, that's all right. It's not too, it's just added a little bit in there. You can always uh, use a, trying to find a fine brush. 
fine brush to do some um, trail off. Don't know, maybe I can just trail off this one. That's it. Trail off. And I was also thinking in this, this was a skin that I cut out of my own, um, off a, a skin off a I pulled it off the piece of silica so I'll cut out like a butterfly shape you could put that in there but I wasn't too happy with that and then I thought oh you know decoupage in a pore so to actually decoupage your pore could be another idea so I've got these lovely little um I think I'd do it oh, maybe that way got these lovely little daisies here and you can absolutely bring your paw to life literally decoupage in a paw um, I'm gonna certainly explore this a little bit more on a, a bigger piece so it's just these little decoupage daisies and can put them in and I mean, you can either, when it's fully dry, resin over the whole lot and then that actually secures your um, little daisies completely encases them in there, which is really pretty. But it just adds that little bit of jazz to a pore that might be lacking something. Um, I think they look lovely. So it's sort of just adding your decoupage in a pore. Well, that's a nice little that's a nice little bunch there 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 that's even got a little um ladybird in it so there's a decoupaged paw so you could definitely wait for it all to dry and coat coat it you know put your um masking tape around and just pour resin on it I think I'll let this dry and then add some um, gold to the blue. I think it needs a little bit of something in there, but it was just to give you ideas. And I think that one's quite sweet. Actually, I've got a few little ladybugs here. Why not put a ladybug in there? That's cute. Little ladybug in there and a little ladybug in there. Why not? Um, look, as I always go crazy with my effects, I'm going to put a few more. Why not? So I'm going to push those down. But there you go. It's just something to brighten up a paw, so why not decoupage your paw? Decoupage your paw. So, just another idea, and I think I'm going to do that on something uh, brighter and to really lift it. But that's, that's a little, fairly decent little idea. So, what do you think? Let me know. Okie doke. Bye for now, my lovelies. Take care.